Hi all, in this lecture, we'll talk about our product data model. So let's start with our first entity, which is brand. As the name suggests, this entity will hold all the brands your company is dealing with. So if we talk about the columns it will have, it would have ID, which would be the primary key for this entity, the name of the brand, and then logo URL. Now in this logo URL, we will be passing a URL from where the image of the logo will be downloaded. Next, we'll talk about family. Family is like a high level category um, of products. For example, men's clothing, women's clothing, boy shoes, men's shoes, etc. ID would be the primary key for this entity. Name would be the name of that category. Avatar URL would be a small icon which is placed next to your record if you want to see it in tabular formats. Again, it's a URL type field. We will just pass a URL to this field. And then we'll have image URL, which is the actual image of this family uh, record itself. Then we have subfamily, which is a child of family. Now, when we say we have got um, men's shoes or women's shoes, then in subfamily, you can have men business shoes, men casual shoes, men boots, etc. So if you can see, we have got ID as a primary key, name of that subfamily, and then it's a child of your family as a foreign key. Then we talk about size. Now size would be uh, your actual size of your products category. For example, if you are talking about uh, men's clothing and you're talking about shirts, etc., you need to have a size for those. Um, so this entity will hold the size of your family itself. Like again, men's clothing, women's clothing, shoes for boys, shoes for girls, etc. And it needs to cater for all the, the different size units that you are dealing with. For example, here we have got size US because this company um, is, sh is sending the products across US and European Union. So you will have ID as the primary key. Family, again, is a foreign key from the family entity itself. Size US is your uh, size in US specific units and size EU will be your European Union units. Then we talk about product itself. Now product will have um, ID as the primary key, name of the product, description of the product, a foreign key from family because this product belongs to family, brand and subfamily. So you can see family, subfamily, brand as foreign keys in here. The actual image of this product which we will be getting from a URL which we'll be putting here. Sales unit, material, origin, heel height, closure type, and care instructions. Now, few of them are optional for certain categories. For example, if you're talking about shoes or boots, etc., then you will have heel height, etc., and closure type, like laces, etc. And if you are talking about clothing specifically, like shirts, gowns, dresses, etc., then you need to have care instructions. And if you can see the asterisk marks against certain columns, this means that all these um, attributes are mandatory. You cannot skip these attributes for for any of the records. And the care instruction is asterisk, which is mandatory because be it your shoes or your clothing, you can still provide the care instructions for those. Next, we talk about items. Now items um, can be many for one product. So we'll have the UPC, which is the universal product code here the foreign key from product, the color of it, the color description, size, again, a foreign key from size, and then the main image URL, which will be uh, the image of this item is specifically. And then we have got item image entity, which is a child of item itself. So if you can see item is a foreign key here. Now this will only have images um, for different items. So we have got ID, the primary key, item because one item can have multiple images you know the front view side view angled view etc image url will be the actual images for one single item like different images per single item um, and then the label itself for that uh, item image now let's see a few examples of how actual data fits in all these entities so that we can have a you know a clear picture of how this model is working end to end 
so what we'll do is we'll go to an excel and here i have put in some data in all those entities to show how this works um, so if we talk about brand first we can see that we have got two so let me see if i can zoom it a bit so it's better readable um, so if we talk about our brand entity we can see that id and name now we have to know that id is not a system generated id here like you know a numeric which we uh, assign to primary keys usually so this id is a custom id which we will configure in our data model when we will be building it but if you can see it's all uppercase this is the the way we have set up the ids uh, for brand um, so ids are custom strings not sequences which will be generated by the system itself that's one thing to note so as rights and traveler all uppercase and then the actual name of the brand like you know with a space as rights and traveler like a camel case notation i have kept logo url etc as blank for now but we will be uploading all these uh, when we actually import the data into our data model next we'll talk about family now again as i said it will have girl shoes boy shoes men's shoes women's shoes and all the high level categories and then again the id is custom string which we have defined not sequence coming from the system itself so all uppercase and then the actual name of the family again these two are blank then we talk about subfamily again from boy shoes dot athletic so shoes can be athletic shoes can be boots and again for girl shoes it can follow different ways like athletic sandals and for men shoes women shoes etc just to give you an example so again the id here is custom string where we have taken the family name dot the subfamily which would be like athletic boots etc and the name is just the the subfamily name and the family is the foreign key coming from family entity itself now if we go to size as well now you can see that size is a child of a family entity so here we have defined girl shoes boy shoes and men's shoes so just for an example we have taken two records for boy shoes like two different sizes for boy shoes one and two now this could go to one from one to ten or twelve even um, the family is a foreign key for family entity and then we have size us and size eu um, again for girl shoes we have taken different example like four five and men's shoes we have taken eight nine so whichever products um, these family will be having they will still follow the same size like from one to ten which what we have defined here and if we go to product now here in product you can see that the the ids are system generated it's not custom strings it's system generated the name of the product like wonder world magical um, felix high speed running sneakers dodo star sprangled shoes etc proper description so this is quite huge um, which you want to provide then we have got foreign key for families so these two rows the first two records are belonging to boy shoes and what is the subfamily if you can see they are both athletic shoes categories and which brand it belongs to as rights now again you can put image url which we will be importing from uh, the import files and then sales unit talks about whether it is sold single or in pair then material like whether it's synthetic mesh rubber nylon cotton etc origin where it came from like china heel height because these are boots so heel height you have to provide um, if it would be clothing you don't need to provide heel height and if you can see heel height and closure type would be if i can get it back heel height and closure type are uh, non mandatory so if we go back to our data model we have got heel height we have got closure type and then care instruction i have left it blank for now but we will be importing this um, from the import files then we'll talk about item now item is where one it uh, there could be multiple items per product so if you can see we have got upc which is universal product code then we have got the foreign key of product itself color of that item color description like aqua blue and yellow stripe with white stars on hot pink size 
it belongs to because this is what we will be selling uh, basically so it ties all the products specific attributes for that item and then the size of that specific item then the images uh, then the image of that which I have left blank for now and then here you can see the item images where the ID ID would be system generated then we have got the item uh, foreign key coming from the item entity we've got the label and then the images of that in image URL so hopefully this should give you an idea of what we will be building and how the data will fit into this data model I'll be attaching this um, in the resources section I'll see you in next lecture thank you